once I talked to him and I learned about his story, I had to, I had to, uh, we had to shoot an episode. You know what I mean? Got you. And like, like back to the battle rap though, like Loaded Lux, that was a, a, a topic that came up too, like where people was asking, would you battle Loaded Lux? Nah, probably not. You know what I'm saying? I, I leave the battle rap into, you know, the, the dudes that's vested in that culture right now. I, I honestly, for, if for me to battle right now, like a lot of things would have to stop and I'm not trying to stop none of it. You know what I'm saying? Would I battle Lux? Right now, I don't, got, I don't really got an answer for that. You know what I mean? I don't really, eh. Gotcha. But, you know, shout out to Lux. I saw I, I saw a piece of um, him and Geechee. It looked like a good battle. I'm going to go, you know, when I get some time, I'm going to sit down and, and, you know, finish that joint. No, I know you probably got a good battle here, but um, I'm going I'm to ask um, the floor, do y'all got any questions for him? Yeah, look, he has something on my mind. Because, um, I mean, everybody right now is talking about you on the, you know, your podcast and shit. And Chuck was asking you about the music oh, earlier, oh. and you kind of alluded to, you know, approaching it with no limits in mind type of shit. What, right. what would you credit, you know, the success and kind of, is it because of that mindset you're approaching it that way? Or, you know what I mean? Why is it so successful? Um, I think it's a, well, it's a combination of a few things. One, you know, we're not just sitting there smiling. And you know, trying to keep it friendly all the time. Sometimes I ask some shit like, like when Twenty One Savage came on the show and he was like, "Yo, yo, I would look crazy if you know two of my homies was beefing and and I ain't do this and da 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 da." da. And I'm like, "Well, well, how does that work for NBA Young Boy and Lil Dirt?" And he kind of stopped, like, "Oh shit, okay." You know what I mean? Like, I don't think you you would get um certain questions like that on on other podcasts. So I just no, for just, sure. You know what I mean? We're not media trained. We're not, um, you know, there's, there's, there's nobody telling us, like, you know, what, what we're supposed to do or how we're supposed to do it or whatever. Everybody's different. And it, it's just something about our shit that people like. And aside from that, there's a lot of fans that's personally vested in my personal growth. You know what I mean? Like they they seen where I came from, they seen all the stuff that I've been through, all the drama, all the bullshit, and they just happy to see me win. So all I could do is keep doing that for myself, for my family, and for them. Cause there's a lot of dudes out there that felt like, you know, they, they couldn't adjust themselves, they couldn't switch up, they couldn't, you know what I mean, they had to stay one way, whether they came up in the streets or you know, there was locked down or whatever, you know, shout out to guys like Mano, like showing people that, you know, he did 10 years, came home and got a major deal. Like that's gotta be like, like inspiration for everybody that's coming home. You know what I mean? For me, it's, it's, it's just been caught up in, in, in a lot of bullshit, been in the streets or whatever and turned it around. Like it's inspiration. So they're personally invested in that. And as I grow, I feel like my audience is growing too. But do you ever get any backlash from like doing that? Like, like any backlash. things that came out like on your podcast where you like different relationships might have changed or shift? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I had a few situations where you know people came on and they told their truths, and um, you know, certain artists just like, yo, um, I'm not feeling that. You know, you we cool. Why would you? You know, don't put it out. And I'm like, yo, I can't do that. Can't do that. I got I, I got a loyalty to the people that walk through that door. Now, if you want to walk through that door and tell your side of the story, cool, let's do it. But, nah, I'm not, I can't do that. You know what I'm saying? So, it, there's been some situations where, you know, certain people might be upset with me or they not feeling me right now or whatever. I'm like, all right, man, it's cool. It's cool. I'm still going to wake up tomorrow. You know what I mean? You're going to wake up tomorrow. Everybody going to be all right. You know what I mean? Anybody got any other questions? Yeah, I got a question. What's up, Math? This is Cha Cha Mystique. Uh, you did my show before we celebrated your birthday. Shout out to you and, and seeing wow. your group. Wow, what's up? Yeah, what's up? How you doing? Yeah, wow. I'm trying to. Wow, <laughs> yeah, you gave me a real nice present. Yeah, I did. I did. You owe me, motherfucker. You owe me. But <laughs> yeah, so anyway. Um, 
Yeah, so I, shout out to you because um, from that from that few years ago up until now, it's really dope watching you and your career and your maturity level. Thank you know you. how you yeah change um, not just in the show with the show, but as as a man. But um, there's a few things that you do talk about on social media as far as like polygamy and different things like that. I even think you had a few, uh, you know, your triangle tribe on scene. How is that working for you to this day or did you change your mind? Because you don't talk about it as much anymore. Um, I've just been busy. (laughs) I I still be running my mouth about it. I think that, um, for one, let me state that this is something that's been in black people's culture for thousands of years you know what i mean it's, it's we we're we we adapted to the western the western ways or whatever but it was part of our culture when they say uh, uh it takes a village to raise a kid sometimes in some cases it was multiple women raising you know each other's children but under the the the, the guidance of one man you know what i'm saying um, and in the society that we live in, you know, there's a there's a lot of sexual freedom. There's a lot of uh, um, like the LGBTQ, you know, shout out to them. You know, they they have like uh, an empowerment movement. But I don't feel like it should just stop there. I feel like there's a lot of there's a lot of people that want to live this way, but they have a, a kind of kind of thing like yo society's gonna look at me a certain way but behind closed doors you know there's women that women first of all women love women <laughs> women love women i'm not saying all women would be sexual with other women women love women and they love sister love that you know what i mean and there's a lot of men out here that would have less drama in their lives if they just kept it a hundred on what they was actually doing and gave the woman the choice to, to, to see if she, that's something she wanted to deal with. And there's a lot of niggas out here like, yo, you know, I, I ain't gonna cheat on my wife on camera and this, that, and the third. You know, I've seen people do it on the show, be like, yo, you know, I, you know, it's just this, da, da, da. Then I'm seeing you be a slime ball later on when we hit the club. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck is that? Nigga, just keep it a hundred. Like, give her the option to see if she wants to deal with that. You know what I mean? And I just feel that's a that's a freedom that shouldn't be excluded like okay if a woman wants to be a woman that's fine if a man wants to be a man that's fine we are we are accepting that we are respecting that but if a man wants to be with two women or three women yeah let them let them do their thing too you know what i'm saying that's 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 just how i feel and for me i don't know i got a lot of energy I've always had a lot of energy and, you know, I, that's just been, I don't know, something something that I had to come to terms with, something that I had to start being honest with women about as far as like, listen, I'm, I'm seeing you and I'm seeing her, blah, 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 blah. if y'all want to meet, you know what I mean? It, it, it's cool. We could set it up. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Like, just keep it. Just keep it a hundred. It'd be less drama. Niggas getting their car windows busted out and all that shit. Cause they just won't be honest, and it don't make no sense. Just be honest. Stop, stop having people dealing with shit in secrecy. You can't sleep next to somebody every single night and lie to them. Yeah, that's a fact. Hey, I just, bro, let me. Sorry. Go ahead. What's up? Go ahead. No, no, I just got one more question, no, and, and we definitely like gotta link up again, math. But my last question is, um, I see a lot of change out in your cast, right? When you Mm -hmm. first started, you had a different um, type of cast. And then now I noticed that you got SO World and and a lot of other different people. Was that a conscious decision that you feel like you have to change out to keep it fresh? Or was there something that was happening that you felt like it was no longer a great fit? Um. There's certain things I allow in my life and certain things that I I do not fuck with at all. If you're the type of person to like play sides or be around other people who got hate for whatever we doing or whatever, like I can't have that energy around me because I know what it does. You know what I mean? If you got a, a friend that hangs out with people that don't like you, deep down, there's, there are things that they're saying to them that they're going to start to take to identify with whether you like it or not and that's just off energy alone so 
there were certain situations that I just felt like couldn't continue. And there were situations where people just wanted to move on and do their own thing. And I got no problem with that. I got no problem with that. Should the cast that I have now decide, yo, you know what? I want, I want to go do something else. So I want to go da, 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 da. I don't got no problem with that. You know what I mean? There are times where I, where I think in my mind, like, okay, yo, this flex dropping bombs on my shit right now. What if this shit take off and I got a tour? Like, who's going to take over if I'm not here? Because, I, again, I never want to limit myself. I'm going to always want to see what else I can do. So, you know, it, it is what it is. I think right now we got a we got a great chemistry, but you, you know, success has its ways. And hopefully, you know, we could keep it together, but you never know what's going to happen. Never know. Yeah, that's a fact. I'm going to pull up on you. Check your DMs because you know I'm in Harlem, too. So I I'm going to pull up. Bet, bet, bet. How, how, how's um how's our friend doing? <laughs> she hi, she I I haven't spoken to her in a few years, but you know she ain't too far. But yeah, definitely check your DMs. I'm gonna pull up on you. I bet. Hey, I know that, like, hey, Map, I noticed you asked uh, Twenty One Savage that question.